sit back, relax, you're in the Cinema Lounge. Hello, welcome to Cinema Lounge, where we sit back, relax, and talk about movie topics, whether it's old or new. Uh, we haven't had a Cinema Lounge last year, so, because, I don't know, the holiday special was kind of crazy. So, let's just get into it right away. We're going to talk about Christopher Lloyd in the main episode, but right now, let's just talk about, you know, Back to the Future. The whole franchise, you know, because Christopher Lloyd's known as the character of Doc Brown, the inventor of the DeLorean time machine, the flux capacitor, you know. It's very iconic. It's actually one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Why is Doc Brown, portrayed by Christopher Lloyd, so iconic? Hmm. Well, it it is a very good question. Like, you don't really think much about it. You just experience it. But I guess most of the... I guess most of the... um, Like, what really makes it iconic is mostly... Like... Like, we, we love the concept of time travel. And, like... This movie's way of time traveling with uh, the DeLorean is actually high, highly create, creative. And with Doc, with Doc Brown, he's pretty much the creator. He is, like, the mad scientist. And the funny thing is that when you think about it, like, Doc Brown, like, he does have the stereotype mad scientist, like, look and personality into him. Like, he's crazy. He's got the giant white hair popping out, you know, and, and like... Like, he has all these scientific stuffs, and, like, it's practically, like, he's pretty much a mad scientist, but we mostly see them as bad. Like, this one is actually good. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a mad scientist that we can trust, and, like, we want to go on adventures with him and, like, do some time-traveling stuff. And mm-hmm. I, I guess, I guess that's what it is. I guess it's mostly the fact that he's this good mad scientist that we want to do, like, we want to go on crazy adventures with. I guess that's that's mostly the part of it that I can think. Well, the other part of my, uh, uh, part of my thoughts of it is, uh, it, it sets forth the, it, it sets forth uh, for Christopher Lloyd the types of characters that he that he he plays from there on out in, in terms of delivery and intensity um, you uh, you get a good you get a, a good uh, gist of what this of what this character is about he's he's really excited about everything that he does and even though he's even though he's uh, 30 Thirty uh-huh. plus years years older than himself, you know. Almost he's, forty. He's still the exact and he's all person, crazy. very energetic, all over the place. We gotta get back to the future. And you see, for every performance after that, you see, you see dimensions of that in in Lloyd's performances, but I think. Part of it, part of it, part of the legacy is probably, uh, you know, the collective efforts of Robert Zemeckis and Universal keeping the uh, uh, keeping the image of that that movie alive over the years. Um, you have. Uh, I I still remember when I was a kid visiting Universal Studios and they had the theme park ride Back to the Future the ride mm-hmm. they had a, they had a a nighttime stage show which was which incorporated um a flying DeLorean believe it or not and uh, an actor popping out of it playing Doc Brown Trying, trying his best to to imitate what uh, what Christopher Lloyd put forth. But I was a kid. I was I was I was uh, right there in the audience, looking up neck pra- practically next to this guy, and I could say like, "Wait, that that's not him." Okay, this is just for fun. <laughs> uh, 
Right. <sighs> um. I can see through your wig. <laughs> it was so fake you wouldn't believe. But <laughs> either way, that is that is it right there. It's not just Lloyd's performance. It's it's everything that that came after him. You know, they had they. Some people don't like to remember this too much, but they actually had a TV show. The animated series? Mm-hmm. I loved that as a kid, actually. I don't know why everybody was scraping over it. It was actually a pretty good series. Okay. Fair enough. And a couple of years ago, we had... Uh... Oh, the, the video game? Yeah, a couple of years ago, we had the video game, yep. which, which had... Uh, cr- with Christopher Lloyd returning it, it, again in the role uh, of Doc Brown. Didn't Michael J. Fox also return? No, if I recall. No, it no? was the actor oh, no. do an impression of Michael J. Fox, which was actually oh. pitch perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I heard. It was like, I, it was either they had Michael J. Fox or this really amazing impersonator of Michael J. Fox. Yeah. That's like, what. That's like possibly the best things I've heard is that someone can really do a, mm-hmm. an amazing. Michael J. Fox impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like yeah, spot it, on. Yeah, they. It's a shame they couldn't get they couldn't get Tom Wilson back though. <laughs> oh, I, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't play the game. I just. Uh, but in the animated series, the cartoon portion, uh, he, he didn't voice Doc Brown. Dan Castellaneta, who plays Homer, he voiced Doc Brown in the animated series, but. Christopher Lloyd did do the live action segments, doing all the experiments mm-hmm. at the end with um, a Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> it's just, I guess, I guess it's the legacy more than the portrayal. Mm-hmm. Like Back to the Future got boomed. Like it got a huge like, like following. Like it was massive. Like that's how it became so big for mm-hmm. everybody who did the films and. You know, so yeah, and one one little bonus thing I want to mention, like uh, about the ride, is that nowadays, even though uh, nowadays the Back to the Future ride is replaced with uh, the Simpsons ride, like the pre-show before you enter in, they actually have this little special. Um, they actually have this uh, this special like. A uh, little pre-show yep. where Christopher Lloyd plays Doc Brown, mm-hmm. and like it kind of explains how the Back to the Future ride was replaced with um, with the the Simpsons ride, where it's pretty much like he did some. I, if I can remember the mo, if I remember best, like he repl- like he did something bad. He crashed into someone, and now he signed a contract where now Doc Brown has to work for Krusty. Yeah, like, yeah, it was kind of clever how they kind of did that. Mm-hmm. And if you get the uh, 25th anniversary uh, Blu-ray or DVD of the Back to the Future trilogy, uh, the bonus feature has uh, the Back to the Future ride. So you at home can ride the Back to the Future ride at home. <laughs> yeah, except you don't get the uh, you don't you don't get the the herky jerky seats yeah, you don't... though. No, yeah. you just have to do that for yourself. You just have to buy a real. You just have to buy a chair that's almost breaking for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I uh. No. Oh, and one more thing, I just want to mention. Actually, this is a little off topic, but I actually had a little bit of an experience where um, I know it was fake. It was actually the last time I went to Universal Studios, and I went to Terminator, like. Terminator 2 3D, uh-huh. really aw- really awesome ride. Like it's part 3D, part animatronics, and part li- like a live show, and so they had like live actors. The guy portraying Arnold Schwarzenegger, like as the Terminator, oh my god, they only hired him for the <laughs> muscles. Like, sure he's a muscled, he's like a really buff, muscly guy, but he's like completely bald, he has a big nose, it's like you can tell from a mile away that ain't Arnold. 
Plus the fact is like he's on his motorcycle, then he goes back in, and then you see it's Arnold with a smaller nose and with hair. <laughs> it just it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. I'm Universal Studios should. <laughs> yeah, th this is why Universal <laughs> Studios should seriously consider, like. Hire their people correctly. Hi, I'm Dave. I am playing the role of the Terminator. <laughs> I got the muscles, but aren't oh. I good? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Come on, kid. Let's get out of here. I'll be back. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Lots to endure in the main episode of Cinema Royale. Uh, actually, to preview, just a little fun fact for you guys. Um, we have, what do we got, six films to talk about, and most of them are villain roles. Most. most. But not all. Not all. Oh, boy. That's going to be a great one for you. So, leave in the comments below. What do you like about Back to the Future? Do you like... Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown? Is it the time machine? Is it Mar uh, Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly? What do you like about it? Leave a comment below and make sure you su subscribe for more of these mini episodes just before <coughs> the main episode. Indeed. Yep. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>